Get started here, guys, with the cover story. And the biggest story right now, of course, is on the ice. The New York Rangers were some big players at the NHL trade deadline. They brought in some reinforcements to help hopefully make that a long playoff run. So tonight they head to Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins. So let's talk some hockey. Jeff, I'm going to go to you first. So the Rangers, like we just said, very active at the trade deadline. They brought in Andrew Kopp, uh, uh, Justin Braun, and Tyler Mott for added depth. After these trades, are you more confident in backing the Rangers for a long playoff run? I know we're pretty confident on yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I think my confidence remains the same. I'm glad that they made some de some trade deadline moves. This was more so for depth. You know, they have a lot of young guys who may not be ready to take that next step. So everybody that you mentioned that they just locked in, that gives them depth. And also in goal scoring, they have the majority of their goals coming from four players. So when you bring in that veteran presence, people who can get you some extra points, that is what you need for a straight playoff run. It's kind of like a retool and a restock yeah. to go as long as you go. They Right now, I think they're at plus 900 to, to win the division. I'm still confident in that, if, especially in betters, if you took it beforehand. You know, anything can happen in the playoffs. And with Shesterkin behind them, Kreider, and this depth, I think that I think I'm still good with it. Yeah, I will say I think hockey is the hardest uh, of all the sports to win. Yeah, that you is a get Gladiator high, sport. It, home ice doesn't matter at some points because yeah. people just get 3-0 leads, get eroded. It's it's nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go to you now, Eric. The last goalie to win the Hart Trophy as MVP was Carey Price for the Canadians. This was in 2014 and 2015. Igor Shesterkin, our guy, has been at the top of the goalie rankings all season long. Do you think he has a chance to bring home some hardware? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I think Igor is a lock uh, to win the Vesna Trophy. He's the best goalie. His save percentage is close to 94%. He's been elite all year and really have kept the Rangers in a lot of games. Uh, but to win the Hart Trophy, the MVP, you know, I, I think that he needs to get his goals against average under two. Mm. He's been amazing. You know, he's been phenomenal, yeah. unlike anything that I've ever seen as, as a hockey fan. Uh, but he's right at 2.1, mm. so he's not far from that. I think he's definitely in the hunt, and I think it's a good bet. Okay, let's talk about the game tonight, Alex. The Rangers, they beat the Penguins at MSG last Friday, and they're only one point behind them in the standings. If you look at these two teams, it could be a first-round uh, playoff uh, a matchup here. How do these teams measure up in your opinion? I think they match up pretty well. I mean, these are two of the best teams in the Eastern Conference, clearly. Um, I think in a series, the Penguins have advantages for a number of reasons, but in a one game, like we have tonight, um, I like the Rangers' chances. We're going to get to that uh, a little bit later. Okay, well, let's get into it actually right now. Everybody, let's give your best bet for the game tonight. I'm riding with the Rangers' money line. I like it at plus 145 for the fact that they did beat the Penguins 5-1 to one earlier. They've won four of their last five, including that one against the Penguins. Shesterkin at goalie, he's given up two goals to the Penguins in two games, averaging one goal given up. So if you trust in the Rangers' offense to lock in against the, uh, the Penguins and score, then I, I like that money line bet. All right. All right, I'm going to take I'm going to take the under in this game, under five and a half. Uh, yes, the the Penguins just scored 11 goals on Sunday, but they weren't playing against e Igor Shosturkin. Exactly. And you know, <laughs> and the Penguins themselves, they have a great goaltender. Uh, Malkin ha has had a phenomenal year as well. So I think this is a defensive game. It's going to be gritty. I'm going to take the under. Okay, Alex. Yeah, I'm with Jeff. I'm going with the Rangers on the money line. I like the value at plus 145. Um, this Rangers defense has been great all season long, and the offense is really picking it up lately. Ten goals in the last two games. They just beat the Penguins 5-1 on Friday. And what's changed since then? I mean, yes, home ice now with the, with the Penguins, but I think that there's too much value here with the Rangers who have advantages all across the board in uh, just this one game tonight. All right, well, we're going to go 2-1-2 two, on two this one. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to take the under. I got it at six goals. And for all the reasons that you just said, I'm going to co-sign on everything. This is going to be a defensive-minded game. They're close in the standings. You know, it's not going to be this crazy firepower. Those 11 goals, that's never happening against Shesterkin, <laughs> just like you said. So I would love the Rangers to win this game, and I'm going to go with the under on this one.